if your footwork sucks, everything sucks. That's true with the martial arts in general, but especially so with the staff. Typically in the Filipino martial arts, we rely on the defensive triangle to keep us out of harm's way. Check out the video link in the description below for more information on that. This works because the length of the stick and the length of a step are similar. With the staff though, its increased reach covers a vast territory. Even taking a big side step means you're still in the striking range. That lateral motion will still come in handy, as I'll explain later. Because of this reach advantage, what you're going to depend on is retreating and advancing more or less in a straight line. Back off out of range, and then move forward again to strike. First though, we need to talk about stance. Here's a fight between me with the staff and my friend Callum with the longsword trainer. The two weapons are about the same length, so it's a fun matchup. You'll notice he keeps hitting me here on my lead arm. Repeatedly he does this, and partly this is because he's a skilled fighter, but it's also because my stance is leaving that opening. Here's my mistake. I'm standing with my feet in a tightrope position rather than a train tracks position. The former makes it very difficult to block to my outside because my hips are turned away. The train track stance has my hips facing forwards, which allows me to properly block to my outside. The tightrope stance is an easy mistake to make because you gain extra reach. And unless your opponent sees and capitalizes on the opening, you won't even realize it's there. First, two steps forward and one step back and repeat. It looks simple, and it is, but it replicates the footwork you'll see in staff sparring or fighting. Paired with that is the reverse, two steps back and one forward. This one is especially useful for fighting against shorter weapons. A staff wielder needs to build skill at backing up quickly and fighting back even while retreating. Stage two adds in the staff. Start with either all blocks or all strikes with both modes of stepping. Finally, change it up to a combination of blocks and strikes. And these can happen with either the forward or backward steps. No need to limit yourself. I mentioned lateral stepping before. With a shorter weapon, it gets used as a defensive step. With the staff, however, we'll use it in a different manner. Instead, step off the line to fire off strikes at a wider variety of angles. Stepping to your opponent's outside puts them in a tightrope stance, not a disadvantage for blocking. I'm going to take a moment to suggest hitting the subscribe button. If you've been watching these videos and found some value with them, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Finally, of course, is Carenza. This is the method for incorporating the practice of stance and stepping in with the rest of your skills, and it's a vital component for your solo training. Thanks for watching. Next video is on spinning the staff. Might sound like a departure from learning fighting skills, but trust me, it'll work.